Welcome back to the Crochet Karate Sauce, my friends at Yarnspirations.com. A great question came in about the Perfect Fade Crochet Pants. On the instructions, it states that you are chaining to one half double crochet between the first two half double crochet and one half double crochet between the next two half double crochets and repeat. And you're gonna see that throughout this whole thing, not just here, but everywhere, it's in between. So what this is, is that um, a crochet question came in and says, well, where is the stitch then? And it's in between the stitches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate where you're going to stick your hook because this is going to make the fabric more dense and it uses a little bit more yarn, but you'll notice that it's gonna be a nice solid fabric when you're done. Let me show you that. And one more thing before I get started, see the seam line that is straight up? That's because we're turning at the end of each one of the rounds. So if you don't turn, you end up with the seam line that goes up on an angle that will come up the pan and around to the other side and it will drive you nuts. So the pattern here stated that the chain two that you're starting with is not counting as a stitch. So don't mistake that as a stitch. So what we want to do is that we want to come in between the first two stitches. So you're not coming into the stitch itself. So you're going to just half double crochet between the two. And if you pull it apart, it's the gap in between. So you're going to just go here and then you're going to half double crochet. And what this is doing is it's causing the stitch work to sink in between. So you're just going to jam your hook in between and it's really not hard. It's just a matter of getting used to it. And so if you're ever looking to thicken up your fabric, this is a great way to do that. So we're going to go all the way around your pant leg. When you get around to the other side, it's going to say to go in between the last post and where you started. Okay, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so this is the last post. This is where you started. And so you're going to come right here. and you are going to join it to the top of the first half double crochet, not the chain two. The chain two is just sitting there. So you'll pull it nice and tight, turn your work completely so that you keep the seam line going up the same pant leg and you'll chain two, again, doesn't count as anything and pull it apart. The first one is right here. This is a chain two and the first post, you wanna go in between the first post and the second to start and you just half double crochet back around until you get to the other side. And I'll see you there in just a moment. So I'm coming around again. And so I want to make sure that I go between the last post and to where the chain two starts. If you skip that, you're going to eliminate one stitch. You're then going to slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet, ignore the chain two, and turn your work. So when you restart again, you're going to chain two and you come in between the first one and the post. This is the chain two, just ignore it. And so if you go here before the first post, you're gonna add an extra stitch. So just be careful of that, okay? And so you're just gonna go and just follow those instructions in between the half double crochets like it's stating. And you end up with a nicer fabric that looks more dense, just like your host. That's it for today. We hope you have a good one.